क्वेश्चन राइजेज ये फेडरेशन क्या होती है तो इसको समझने के लिए जरूरी है कि पहले यह देखा जाए कि ट्रेड यूनियन क्या है जब एक यूनियन है सिर्फ और सिर्फ तो उसे सिंगल ट्रेड यूनियन कहा जाता है और जब बहुत सारी यूनियंस इकट्ठी हो जाएं और पॉलिसी बनाने की जो एक्टिविटी है उसको सेंट्रलाइज्ड कर लें तो उसे फेडरेशन कहते हैं जब यूनियंस इकट्ठी हो जाएं और पॉलिसीज बनाने की जो पावर्स हैं वो अपने इंडिविजुअल यूनियंस के पास रखें और हो वो टोटालिटी में इकट्ठी तो उसे कन्फेडरेशन कहते हैं तो माइडियर स्टूडेंट्स इन अमेरिका डिस्पाइट लेबर रिफॉर्म्स द नाइट्स ऑफ लेबर attracted large numbers of workers hoping to improve their immediate conditions ye knights of labor jo hain ye wahan ki trade unions hain federations ka hissa hain as the knights carried on strikes and organized along industrial lines the threatened national trade unions demanded that the group confine itself to its professed labor reform purposes abhi aapko ek aur baat batata jaau ke ye jo labor movement in america hai isse mutalliq bahut sare articles jo hain wo net par available hai to aap unko bhi is zaman mein consult kar sakte hain my dear students the knights went on to discuss the labor issues along with the industrial lines aur dusri taraf jo trade unions thi unhe ye issue aaya ki ye to sirf apne maqasad ke liye kaam kar rahe hain aur inhe hamare maqasad ke sath koi gharz na hai to uske baad the new federation marked a break with the past for it denied to labor reform any further role in the struggles of american workers in part the assertion of trade union supremacy stemmed from an undeniable reality in america as industrialization in america matured labor reform lost its meaning hence the confusion and ultimate failure of the knights of labor in america my dear students marxist or marxism taught samuel gompsers and his fellow socialist that trade unionism was the indispensable instrument for preparing the working class for revolution this point to be noted dear students the founders of the afl translated this notion into the principle of pure and simple unionism they further argued they further mentioned that only by self organizing along occupational lines and by a concentration on job conscious goals would the worker be furnished with the weapons which shall secure his industrial emancipation 